Oblique Seville, out the blocks, extremely fast, all the way to the finish line, no allies behind him. No, Oblique Seville's finish with a personal base of 9.81. No allies behind him with 9.83. Welcome back to another video, guys. Welcome back to the narrative where it's okay to be curious. I had to jump on real quickly and let you know how the semifinals went in the men 100 meters at the Olympics 20, Paris 2024. So, in semifinals number one, Oblique Seville lined up against uh, Louis Inchcliffe and Noah Lyles. Louis Inchcliffe and Noah Lyles were the two people to beat in that one. Oblique Seville out the blocks extremely fast, all the way to the finish line. Noah Lyles behind him. No, Oblique Seville's finish with a personal base of 9.81. Noah Lyles behind him with 9.83. This was the race that we all anticipated. Why? Because we needed no allies to lose going into the finals. So, one Jamaican already threw to the finals. In semifinals number two, Hakeem Blake lined up in an extremely strong field against Akani Simbini, Lester Tobago, Kenny, Kenneth Benerick, and Marcel Jacobs. In semifinals number two, um, Akani Simbini, he pushed out to the front, got the win, followed by Lester Tobago. And very, very fast, very, very fast time from the defending Olympic champion, Marcel Jacobs, and behind him, Kenny, Kenneth Benerick. In semifinals number three, we saw the poster child for Jamaica and the Olympics, the, the 9.77 man himself, Kishin Thompson, in his debut at the Olympics in his first heat running 10 point, 10 flat and lowering that to 10.08 winning his heat comfortably looking around to see where the competition is at ending with the fastest time overall in the semi-finals with oblique seville second fastest time in the semi-finals fred curly was right behind him with 9.84 getting the fourth fastest time of the semi-finals so overall the, the four fastest times from semifinals number two went through. So we saw Akani Simbini, Lester Tobago, um, Marcel Jacobs and Kenny Benerick going through from that semifinals to join Oblique Civil and Noah Lyles. And from semifinals number three, we saw Kishane Thompson and Fred Curley going through. So this is setting up to be USA versus Jamaica and Africa to be more specific. Two Jamaicans, two South Africans, one Botswanian, three Americans. And this will be a storybook finals because this could signal the resurgence of the men's dominance in the 100 meters and also the defending champion marcel jacobs will be there to say something about it because it's his title to defend and he's in the finals however no allies the world's fastest man in, uh, in the world's fastest man is there to have a conversation with the actual fastest man in the world for 2024 Kishane Thompson now Oblique Seville did justice and did wonders for the track and field world when he equaled Noah Lyle's personal best and also beat him twice in the Olympics well and, and him his second beaten in the Olympics to go through to the finals Noah Lyle's yet to win a race going through to the finals and the Jamaicans they won both races going through so all things equal this will set up to be a scorcher of a race between Kishane Thompson and Oblique Seville. The Americans and the rest of the world will be trailing. They will be fighting to break up that one, two. Let's see how this will play out. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Are you excited? Are you ready? Rewrite the narrative. Like and share. Subscribe.